I've got the walls framed up. I've started wrapping. It's insulated. All screwed down. Nine dollars. These are two three quarters thick and a portable air conditioner. Yep. Let me turn that on for you. So now there's a little more blue going on the walls. What we have decided blue white all other b boards gonna be blue this is gonna be white the door trim the window trim that's gonna be white the baseboard of course that's gonna be white that's what we've decided i just want to let you know what we have decided oh also this is gonna be nautically themed on the inside, so we're gonna call it the beach house. You can still call it a little house or camper if you want to, but its official name is going to be the beach house. So now if we take a look through, the whole ceiling's been painted blue. What if we call that hate blue? Oh, somebody asked me for the official name of this blue. Hold on a second. According to this label, it's Tower Bridge Blue, or just plain Tower Bridge. So right this second, I'm focusing on this brace. There's two of them. And before I cover it up, there is a coil lumber sticker. That board is 70% off. I love boards that are 70% off. Or free. This was a scrap out in the garage. That's gonna be a shelf. And I've got this piece of trim to keep stuff up on the shelf. We're about to glue and nail these into place. Glue inspection, the glue is in place. Now the beat board's in place. I don't know if I can film and run the nail gun at the same time, but I'll sure try. That should be good. Repeat on the other side. That's a seven. And here you have one and two shelves ready for paint. Ready for paint and for holding junk. Mission accomplished. Out in the little house and you hear the raindrops hitting the roof. We've also got a can of white paint open. If we look up, that trim is white, that rafter's been started, that shelf is white, the window trim is white, and Mama's getting some measurement for the curtains. Have I shown you the curtain material yet? Hang on a second. Here's that curtain material. I think I've already shown it to you. It's got that blue to go with the walls. I love it. Should be having curtains here soon. So I needed the trailer for this weekend. There's a VW show and I want to take my buggy. So I pulled the little house off of the trailer, put it up on four blocks. This will be its new home for a while until camping time. Let me take a picture for you. When I built this door, I used treated wood, wet treated wood, and then the wood dried out and shrunk. So I have recalked the cracks, and now I want to repaint those cracks back to being red again. Oh, it squeaked. And I should probably put a screen in the window. Maybe not today, but eventually. Right now, let's focus on the red, covering up the white caulk. Paint update. The door is now red. I even bonus painted the stool red to know that old, old stool matches the door.
inside and outside of the door, not the stool. Made it all some hinges. Here on the inside, I got a little bit of paint touch up to do. Not much. Things like this, stuff like that. And I've got me two little brushes. I might do a blue one and a white one. Do two colors at one time. One brush in each hand. Oh, and the wife, she's going to start on the curtains. One, two, three. There's a window in the door. Four curtains. It is just a little bit cold in here, and I believe I'm all finished painting. All the trim is done. I mean, it's not perfect. But I'm going to call it good enough. It's kind of hard to show you the whole room with this camera. Maybe I should show you from the other way. Hold on a second. Once the curtains get in, get a little bit of decoration done in here. This baby is completely finished. Okay, here in the house, I see a picture that would... That one's probably too big, but the one right above it... I don't know if the wife would ever miss it. I might need to put that in the little house. Shh. That's the one we just stole right there. We've got a pillow, a crab paddle, and a sign up on the wall. There's the sign. I'm gonna make it hinge so you can put stuff behind it. Like a medicine cabinet without the cabinet. That's what we're doing right now. Can you read that sign to me? Always take it to the beach. That's it. So the air is on, I know it's loud. I'll turn that down the video. I'll try to do a lot of working without a lot of talking. There, I know there's a stud right below that rafter, and I can see the uh, nail heads, the nail holes. That look good right there. So I'll put some more screws, and that look guy's done. sign is now mounted. I gotta put some nails in the back side of it for hanging things. Maybe we'll do that next. One there. Just right. shot of it. Now we got to put on the crab key holder, the crab hanger, the crab paddle hanger, right beside that window. Up next I've got this crab paddle and I don't want the uh, screw to show as I mount it on the wall. It's got this little hook but going in a row that the might fall off swinging around. I'm gonna get rid of that hook. this toggle bolt behind the crab and we'll put the crab back on. So I'll drill a hole here and go it to the wall, tighten this up.
Out here in the wood shop, and I've got these dowels, and these dowels want to be the curtain rods for the little house. I just got to make up some curtain rod holders now. I've just made these little fancy, fancy curtain rod holders. They're going to go right here on the window. And there's going to be the dowel rods that go in between. I'm just going to nail them on, paint them white, and call them done. One on this side. One on that side. Whoops. And one on that side. And that's all there is to it. Let me get them up there. You'll like them better once they get them up there. Now this dowel rod was not long enough for this one to have the other type of curtain rod holders. So I drilled a hole here and I drilled a hole on the other side. This side pushes in. Then we push in the other side. I've got a little nail that pins that hole. I'll show you. And then this little nail goes through that hole. Then the curtain rod can't go back and forth. It won't fall out. Don't know yet, but it looks pretty good right there. So the children have been catching crawdads today. How many do y'all have? This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. This one's got seven. Seven. And a bunch. This one's got ten. Nine, seven, and ten. Here in the big window, this gives you an idea of what the curtains are going to look like. They are two-tone, and on the back, they're actual double thickness. They've got red stripes. In the daytime, you'll see the red stripes barely coming through this fabric. I like them. It'll be plenty private, and it'll block some of the light while you're trying to sleep. That's what they're going to look like. And now one final detail before we hit the upload button. I've got this lighthouse hook. I think I'm going to balance out this wall, crab hook on one side, lighthouse hook on the other. And we're going to do this the old fashioned way with a screwdriver. Now that could be his and hers hooks. And as always, thanks for watching.